Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my meadow. In this video, I'm going to show you what I bought myself for Christmas. It is a tactical shovel. I thought it would be great to have one of these for around the garden so that when I'm working up in a raised garden bed or I'm trying to dig up a trench, this could really lend a helping hand. But what's even better about this is that I was able to purchase this from a small local business. In fact, someone that I knew from old chamber days. She started a business with her family so that she could spend more time in the great outdoors. Be sure to check out their website at littlebrownsquirrel.com. I'll make sure I include a link in the description because they have a number of things for the great outdoors, really focused on the camping space. But for me, this tactical shovel, and it has a little extension, we're going to put it to work this morning digging out a garden bed. Let's get digging. If you're not familiar with a tactical shovel, it looks something like this when it's fully put together. But when it's compacted down, it fits in two little pouches, easy enough for me to keep in my garden bag or in the back of the car if I wanted. Some people think of it as a trenching shovel because you can loosen this part here. And change the angle of the shovel, tighten it back up. And now I've got a 90 degree digger, which for getting the soil out of this garden bed is going to be amazing. Let's put it to the test. I don't know what that is. Green bug down in the soil. If you know anything about that, please put it in the comments. Oh, and I guess I should show you some of the other tricks about this too. There's a glass breaker right there. And hear that rattling? There's some tools inside. And I love, it's got a really nice silicone ring in it to help uh, keep moisture out. Oop, I opened the wrong end. So, it has some additional tools inside that you can swap out. I turn that into a screwdriver. I can pop this plug out, put this in here, turn that into a knife. So, kind of like a garden multi-tool. Pretty neat. Or if you're out camping, it gives you some additional tools that you would have that you might need out in the woods. And it looks like I missed some of the tools that were in the upper handle. There's also a fire bar and a whistle in there too. Pretty cool, nice little survival style tactical shovel. But let's get back to digging. Good for just hauling that in like that. And loosen it up, flip it back the other way. Now just get a little shovel. And it's short enough, handle-wise, that I can stand at waist level. Oop, one of those sweet potatoes. Oh, more sweet potatoes. Simply shovel it all in. If you're new to the channel, I'm digging out this garden bed 
because it's been in place for a year and I need to fix something that I did wrong and the sides are giving in just a little bit and I think it's because I did something wrong when I set up the bottom so we're going to take a look inside in a different video and see what it looks like down there but meantime I am taking out this soil a little bit at a time Every day if I can get a few buckets out, eventually I will have it done. And since I don't have any way to store this soil without dropping it all the way on the ground, I am leveraging it in another garden bed and when I get new soil I'll put it in this garden bed. I'm really taking off the top layer of soil as much as possible now because it's the driest, the lightest, the easiest to move since I'm transporting this down the garden 40 feet or so. Since this soil is so nice and loose, I'm finding that it's a little bit easier to use the trenching side, gather the dirt up, and then shove it into the bucket. I'm just trying different ways to see what works best for me. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being a part of our garden here. I've gotten a lot of the loose stuff off, but now I'm getting down to this more compacted layer. And so let's see how this does in there. First, we're gonna try it this way. Look at there. I could not do this with a regular shovel. I wouldn't be tall enough to do this with a regular shovel. And I wouldn't have this angle. I'm getting down to the wood layer here. And just take this way, push it right into the bucket. I'm transferring this soil to another bed where I plan to grow potatoes. And there's a chance that I'll end up with some sweet potatoes in that bed because there are all these teeny tiny sweet potato roots. But it will be fine. More food will not hurt my feelings. I've worked myself into a sweat, but I tell you, I gave this little tool a pretty good first workout. I assure you, you will be seeing it more in other garden videos. Be sure to check out their website again at littlebrownsquirrel.com. And of course, feel free to tell them that Michelle in the Meadow sent you. That would be awesome. I found this to work great for what I needed. The only thing I had to make sure of is every once in a while I was twisting and turning it in a way that would cause it to unscrew. It wasn't a big deal. I could just tighten it back up, but I wasn't using it exactly the way as intended. I was kind of twisted it in the soil there and then turning the handle, but it worked fine. I can't wait to try out some of these other edges here, maybe for a little sawing, maybe for a little chopping, but definitely 100% it can dig. All right, my friends, until next time, please remember to wear that high quality sunscreen, drink plenty of water, and of course, have a fantastic day. Now that's an itty bitty sweet potato. And a grub. I'm gonna go feed the fishes.